Hi everyone, this is Kalyan Kumar, and I welcome you once again to the videos that we have on the IUPAC nomenclature of organic compounds. And in this particular video, we are going to talk about amines. How do we use the IUPAC system for naming amines? Before that, we're going to look at what amines are and what different types of amines are present and then how to name them. Well, amines come in three varieties. If the nitrogen is attached to only one alkyl group, one carbon, we call it a primary amine. In case it is attached to two Carbons, same or different, we call them as secondary amine. Attached to three of them, same or different, no H here, we would call it a tertiary amine. So primary amine, secondary amine and tertiary amine. And the naming of all the three are different. So we look at them one at a time, starting with primary amine. So how do we name a primary amine? Pretty simple. You have a carbon chain. Let's say a saturated chain. Somewhere you have this NH2 sitting here. So you number the parent chain so as to give the alpha carbon of NH2 the lowest number. Say I do it from the left side. One, two, three four, five, six, seven, eight. And in that case, what I'm going to do is name the alkane that is octane, remove the last E because now we're going to use the name of NH2, which is amine. And as we always do, we omit the last vowel if the suffix starts with a vowel. So it's octanamine. But at the same time, we also need to specify the number four. So it's going to be octen for amine. So that's the way you name primary amines. So let's see the rules. Primary amines or NH2 are named as alkan amine. If the compound contains double or triple bonds, the amino group then it is named as alkan amine or alkyne amine. Alkyl and halo substituents are named as prefix in alphabetical order, just like we would do in the case of alkanes. So let's see a couple of examples that will help us understand what these names are. Try and name this one. As usual, I want you to pause the video and uh, name it and play it back. So this is from methane, right? Methane, I mean, methanamine. All right, let's check out the next one. Well, ethane, amine, ethanamine. No need to number it because there are only two carbon atoms and N has to be attached to any one of them. So there's no point in numbering here. Try this one. Well, this one needs to be numbered. This is one, two, three. It's prop. 2N1-amine. Prop 2N1-amine. Also known as allylamine, which is the common name also accepted in the IUPAC system. Try this one. Well, numbering has to be done from here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It's pent 2N1 amine. Pent 2N1 amine. Try the next one. Numbering 1, 2, 3, 4. 2 bromo, 1 chloro, 3 methyl, but 1 amine. Try one more. Benzene and amine, remove the last E of benzene, benzenamine. Also known as aniline, accepted in IUPC as the common name, 
and that can also be used as an IUPAC name. All right, now let's go for a secondary amine and a tertiary amine. There are two ways of naming a secondary and two ways of naming a tertiary amine. Let's see the secondary first. You can name this as N alkyl, another N alkyl amine. And the two alkyls are named in alphabetical order. So al N alkyl, N alkyl amine. Or you can write it as N alkyl alken amine. So the one alken amine, this is the parent. So that alkyl group which contains maximum number of multiple bonds or carbon atoms or double bonds and in that order, that is taken as a parent and we name it as alkenamine. And the other one is the alkyl group N alkyl alkenamine. The same logic is followed when we do a tertiary amine. Either you name it as three times N alkyl, N alkyl, N alkyl amine. Or take one of them as parent. Let's say R prime is a parent. Number it N alkyl, N alkyl, alkyl amine. So once we see the rules and see a couple of examples, the thing should be clear. Let's try that. Secondary amines are 2 NH and tertiary amines are 3 N are named as N alkyl N alkylamine or N alkyl alkenamine. This is for secondary. Now tertiary can be named as N alkyl N alkyl N alkylamine or N alkyl N alkyl alkanamine. The third rule says if the two alkyl groups of a secondary are different and three alkyl groups of a tertiary are different, then if you name it like N alkyl N alkyl amine or N alkyl N alkyl N alkyl amine for tertiary, then the alkyl groups are named alphabetically. But if you choose the other way around, if the two alkyl groups of a secondary amine and three alkyl groups of a tertiary amine are different, and the naming is done as N alkyl alkanamine or N alkyl and alkyl alkanamine respectively, then the alkyl groups that contain the amine suffix is considered as the parent and its selection follows the same criteria as a selection of a parent chain of any non carbon functional group just like alcohols. The alkyl groups are then named in alphabetical order for tertiary amines. Let's check out a few examples. Secondary amine coming your way. So I can either say N ethyl, N methyl amine. That is, if I want to name the secondary amine like this, or I can say N methyl ethyl amine. So N ethyl, N methyl amine, or N methyl ethyl amine. Now let's try a tertiary one. So this guy is a longer chain. So I, I say N ethyl, N methyl, and propyl amine. Or if this is the parent, more number of carbon atoms, N ethyl, N methyl, prop 1 amine. N ethyl, N methyl, N propyl amine or N ethyl, N methyl, propan 1 amine. Let's check out a few more examples now. So what are you going to call this one? Well, N ethyl, N propyl, N propyl. You don't have to write N propyl twice. You can call it as N ethyl, N N dipropyl amine. But right now, I'm not going to use that terminology. I'm going to use one of them as parent. So which is the parent? Well, I guess the parent is one, two, three. So N ethyl, 
and propyl prop one amine propen one amine not prop propen one amine try one more find the parent here numbering of the parent maximum number of carbon atoms n ethyl n isopropyl pentene three amine and now let's try something really complicated and i'm interested to know which one is the parent so pause and write the name and then play it back to check your answer now the parent remember is the one which contains maximum number of multiple bonds and number the alpha carbon of n with the minimum number the parent chain is this one why maximum number of multiple bonds the two of them if i go this way one multiple bond if i go this way one multiple bond if i go this way no multiple bonds so parent chain must contain maximum number of multiple bonds and i'm going to number this as one because that way this alpha carbon gets the lowest possible number in the parent chain 1 2 3 4 5 6 side chain numbering 3345678 and 1 2 so what would be the name it's um this one is uh, ethylidine so that's pretty uh, simple uh so these are all alkyl groups this is the parent i think writing the parent is the easiest first it's hex 3n 5 i 2 amine and the prefixes are n inside brackets Four ethylidine bracket close. Uh, four sorry four ethylidine hept six inyl. Four ethylidine six inyl iso. One, two, three, four, five. Isopentyl, and then the parent. Check the name out. N four ethylidine hept six inyl. N isopentyl hex three N five in two amine. So this is the way we name. primary secondary and tertiary amines and i hope this video helps you in understanding the nomenclature of amines with that i thank you for watching this video